Hey everybody, welcome to Driving with John. Before I get this video kicked off, I wanna let you guys know something. Um, yes, I'm gonna be talking about company driver pay here in a minute, um, but before I do that, I'm not gonna make vlogs anymore. That's why I'm making this video. Because I used to, in my vlogs, I'd break down how many miles I had, and then depending on how much cents per mile you made, you know, how much you would've made on that, that load or that couple of days. Um, but my blogs really aren't getting the views. So I don't think blogs are really like what people want to see. So I'm going to go back to making videos about video ideas I have or cool concepts or things like that. Um, mostly trucking related, but not always. Um, so let's go ahead and get this kicked off. So if you're a company driver, um, there are three, I would say most popular ways to get paid. Um, Obviously, it's cents per mile is probably the most popular one. We're going to do that one last. Probably the second most popular, I would say, is probably hourly. Um, we'll do that one second to last or second. And then the first one I'm going to talk about is pay per day. Now, I actually know a guy that's pay per day. Um, and he makes, um, he was making 250 a day. I don't know if he got, I think he got bumped up to 275. But I'm going to say 250 because it's easy math. All right, so he makes 250 a day. Now, easy numbers, okay? So 250 times seven equals 1,750 bucks. I have a calculator right here, so I don't have to think. No, 1,750 bucks. Sounds like decent money, right? That's all right. Um, let me tell you the ups and downs of daily pay. The ups are, you know, you get paid whether you're running or not. So there will be days, like, you know, 34 hour resets or or your truck breaks down, you're gonna get paid. The downside of that is when you are running and your truck's not broke down, they're gonna run you ragged trying to make that money out of you. Because think about it, if they're gonna pay you when you're down, they gotta make money off you when you're not down. So they're gonna run you 11 hours a day, as hard as they can, just to get as much money out of you as possible so they can give you that, you know, that daily stipend of money. About that, that's a downside and an upside, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a good side and a bad side there. So um, the next one I'm gonna talk about is hourly pay. So now hourly pay is different. It depends on where you work, what part of the country, whether it's a unionized trucking shop or not. Um, but I have a buddy that works for a unionized shop, so I'm gonna use a rough number that he gave me. Um, I'm gonna use $40 an hour. So easy math, so we're gonna Clear out my calculator, we're gonna go $40 an hour times, let's go 60 hours a week. All right, so you're running 60 hours a week. Um, that's $2,400, guys. That's pretty good money, right? Yeah, it's pretty good money. Now let me just talk about the upsides and the downsides. Now when you work for hourly, you're gonna have that guy that you work with and you know the guy I'm talking about. It might be you, but I doubt it. because. Only good people watch my channel. <laughs> I'm just joking. If it is you, doesn't mean you're not a not a good person. But it's not something I would do. You're gonna have that guy that's gonna drive 55 everywhere because he's paid hourly, so he's gonna make more money if he drives slower. That's how he thinks. Okay. Now, me personally, not me. I drive speed limit a little bit. You know what I what I, what I had to do to get the job done as quickly as possible. Um, speed limit always or a little bit less but I wouldn't I wouldn't um, you know spin the clock just to make money if you know what I mean um, there are guys that do that so if that's something you can tolerate or that's something that you do hourly might be your thing um, they do make good money uh, there is no extras like unless you're paid now see I did 60 hours if you want to be technically correct it would be 40 hours at $40 an hour which would be $1,600, and then it would be $20 at $60 an hour, and then add those two together. So $2,800 is what it comes out to. That's time and a half, by the way. Um, not all places pay that, but I'm just saying, I'm just giving you a rough estimate. So $2,800. If you run 60 hours at $40 an hour, which would be sixty dollars an hour at a time and a half so so that's the you know 
the first two. The last one is cents per mile, all right? Now, cents per mile, it's the most common way people get paid, okay? If you're a new truck driver, you got probably like a 75% chance this is the way you're gonna get paid. Now, there's a new truck driver that um, started watching my channel and he was messaging me, and he was telling me he's getting, um, I think it was like 23 or 24 cents a mile, but he's also getting 25% of the load. So, you know, uh, if you don't know what that means, it means he gets 25% of whatever the company is making off of that load. And then he also gets 25 cents a mile on top of that. So, it, it sounded like a pretty good deal, at least from what he was telling me anyway. I've never been paid like that, so. Um, but if you're paid cents per mile, it's straight up easy, okay? Like, let's say you run 2,500 miles and you're gonna make 50 cents a mile. You're gonna make 1,250 bucks, right? Now, you're brand new, remember. Now, once you get some experience and you let's say you're making um, 2,500 miles times, you know what, let's be, let's be realistic. If you're running per mile, you better be putting more than 2,500 miles on. So let's go, Let's go 2,800 miles times 0.65. That's 65 cents a mile, that's $1,800. It's not bad, not bad. And you're not running super hard to get that many miles. You wanna run hard, you wanna run 3,000 miles? All right, times that by 0.65, that's basically two grand. I mean, that's not bad money, guys. So that's, that's how company drivers get paid. And if you want, I'll throw some numbers up here real quick. You know, um, kind of the basic same numbers, but just so that you guys understand. If you're paid per day, let's say you're paid this much per day, then you would make this much. On a seven day week, obviously. If you're paid hourly and you get this much per hour and you work a 60 hour work week, you're gonna get this much. And if you're paid cents per mile and you run I'll do 3,000 because it's easy. 3,000 miles, you get this per per hour, or a little, little, little per mile, you make that much. And then you just change it depending on how much you make per mile. Like that, and that, or that, and that. You get the idea? All right, guys, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. If you're a brand new truck driver, hey, I'm always out to you know, help you if I can, and if I can't, I know lots of guys have been driving a heck of a lot longer than me. They're happy to answer your questions. So put them in the comment section. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. We're gonna see you on the next video. And to all my trucking buddies out there, keep those tires turning, stay right side up, and keep your rubber on the road. To all my non-trucking buddies out there, subscribers, followers, everybody out there, just remember one thing, truckers are people too. So be nice to us. See you on the next video. Driving with John is coming!